What's going on guys, Gamer Dude back once again, bringing you some more informative gaming news. But before we begin, y'all know the routine, or at least I hope you do by now. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day. Same applies if you are a returning viewer. Now then, um, this will be an interesting video because uh, other than updates for Grand Theft Auto, it's rare that I actually cover anything Grand Theft Auto related. I'm not one of those people who throws out GTA 6 is coming or rumoured screenshot leak from GTA 6. No, you don't call me Mr. Boss for the win. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, it would appear that Sony is rumoured to be buying out Take-Two Interactive. And Take-Two Interactive are obviously the publishers of Rockstar Games, uh, who publish games like GTA, NBA 2K, Red Dead Redemption, etc, etc. Uh, this is a amidst the potential Xbox and Activision Blizzard merger. So whether Sony are doing this out of spite is... Well, it's, it's, it's in question, you know, because it, if Sony did this, then that would mean games like uh, Red Dead Redem uh, future Red Dead Redemption games, future Grand Theft Auto games, if they ever come, and uh, NBA games would then become PlayStation exclusives. So in this video, we're going to be digging deep and diving into what I've discovered regarding this. So... Let's get right to it. As the merger between Xbox and Activision Blizzard continues to loom, other independent publishers are scrambling to secure their futures. Among them is Take-Two Interactive, the owners of Rockstar Games and publishers of the popular franchises such as GTA, Red Dead Redemption and NBA 2K. Although Take-Two have previously expressed their desire to remain independent from any other sources, rumours suggest that Sony is considering making a move to acquire the company. And this comes via uh, the analyst Rithian. The acquisition would cost Sony around $20 billion. Now, Sony wouldn't put that much money into anything if they didn't think, you know, that if they didn't think that the publisher was going to at least consider the offer, you know. Sony wouldn't throw that much money at someone without that someone saying, well, okay, well, we'll think about it, you know. It's, it's not something we want to do right now, but we'll think about it. And one, once again, I come back to the fact that if this actually happens, then it is entirely possible that games like uh, any f future games, that is like GTA or Red Dead Redemption or NBA games, could be PlayStation exclusives. And I think, to be honest, that would be a little unfair. And the console wars would once again reignite. But anyway, moving on. This may seem like a low figure to some. Take-Two's market capitalism is almost $19 billion, so it's only $1 billion less than what Sony have actually offered them. However, it is important to note that no official statement has been made regarding this potential acquisition, and the validity of the rumour is yet to be confirmed. But I do have the um, thing in question that I mentioned with the uh, analyst Rithian. Uh, he mentioned, have it on extremely good word that if Microsoft acquires Activision Blizzard, Sony is going after Take-Two Interactive to counter it. So, it does seem like it would be something out of spite that Sony would do to to Microsoft out of spite like okay you get that which means we lose this that and this so we'll take this which means you lose this that and that you know because Microsoft are taking over Activision Blizzard there's a lot of AAA titles that 
may suddenly become Xbox exclusives. And it's the same if Rockstar were to acquire Take Two. Certain AAA titles may become PlayStation exclusives. And I come back to it being spiteful. You know, they're doing it out of spite. They're doing it because Xbox are acquiring this other company that will make Sony lose out on millions of dollars worth in sales for games and console bundles. But yeah, uh, nonetheless, if Sony were to acquire Take-Two Interactive, it could be seen as a strategic retaliation against Xbox, or rather, as I said, a spiteful move against Xbox. And Sony has previously voiced opposition to massive mergers, but one could argue that they had no choice but to act on this if Xbox does indeed acquire Activision Blizzard. Now, uh, uh, currently, the gaming world is in a bit of a shifting focus. After the uh, after the uh, COVID pandemic, the gaming world came well out of hiding, so to speak, and it's back in full force, uh, ready to evolve. So it will be interesting to see how these potential mergers and acquisitions shape the future of these industries, that being... Uh, Sony, Microsoft, Take-Two Interactive, and of course, Activision Blizzard. Uh, so yeah, that's all I could pick up on that regarding this. Uh, once again, you've got to take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's not confirmed. It's not out there saying this is happening. I'm not one of those YouTubers that's saying, Listen, look at me, I'm right all the time. Listen to me, this is happening. I just bring in news that I seem, that I deem appropriate to bring, you know, that seems like it could have some kind of truth behind it. And obviously if, if it doesn't, and the video is still there, I will respond in kind to people in the comments, you know, saying, well, I did this when this was, so and so, so you know, it, even it, it's not true. I didn't say it was happening. It's just a piece of news that I am bringing to you. Uh, so yeah, again, take it with a grain of salt. It may or may not be happening. I'm not saying it is. Uh, but yeah, then that's it for the video. So thank you all for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, once again, I do apologize for my scarcity of content. Um, I have, I have had a terrible year, just been a terrible year from the get go, uh, pinched nerve in my spine, uh, causing agonizing pain. I couldn't even sit down, let alone play a video game. So that's how my year started off. And that lasted two months. Uh, then I caught the mother of all colds and that lasted another month. And then after I got over that. I caught COVID. So, yeah, it's, it, it's been a bad year. And on top of all that, I am being evicted from my apartment as well. So I'm having to deal with uh, property searching and property viewings and uh, packing away my stuff. So I've not really had a lot of time uh, to do any live streams or produce any videos. So once again, I do apologize and I do appreciate your patience with me regarding this. But don't worry, I'm not disappearing. I'm keeping at this. I'm not disappearing like I did before. Uh, before I disappeared because of my mental health, I won't go into detail on it, but that's the reason I stopped producing content. And then I came back because I missed it. And because, well, I missed you. I missed you guys. I missed my community, you know? Uh, so I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. Uh, my videos will just be a bit lacking and so will be my upload schedule. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the video then. Thank you all once again for stopping in. Do appreciate it. Uh, you all know the routine by now. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you smash the like button and drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day. Same applies if you are a returning viewer. So yeah, that being said then, this has been Gamer Dude. Happy gaming. And I will catch you all in the next one, guys.